stands behind me as a mighty terrible one authority hallelujah what were we given authority over let me talk a bit about jurisdiction and then we'll pray genesis 1 28 you need to study the jurisdiction for the administration of your power the power god has given you and god blessed them and said be fruitful multiply fill the earth and subdue it it says have dominion over number one the fish of the sea it doesn't mean fish no it's, it's a way of showing realms so it uses whatever creature that represents that realm when it says the fish of the sea it does not mean fish are we together it means that domain then he talks of the birds of the air the air he talks of every living thing that moves upon the earth we are given that jurisdiction satan is called the prince of the power of the air he's not talking about this air it's a spiritual location are we together now this is very important number two matthew chapter 10 and verse 1 what is the believer given power over authority over let's examine from scripture and when he had called the 12 disciples to him he gave them power over help me on clean spirits you don't have power over every spirit no you don't have power over verify the spirit is unclean first so that you stop commanding things anyhow and then you are embarrassed you are not given power over the spirits of men it's called manipulation because the spirits of men especially men in christ are also holy spirits it's just that the holy spirit is the most holy spirit <laughs> are you learning now we are defining jurisdiction you see that sincere believers make mistakes and sometimes we command the holy spirit we command all, and sometimes god just moves because he knows our ignorance versus our sincerity of heart but it doesn't mean that what we are doing and saying is right no you are given power over before you act you want that spirit to obey you verify it is unclean what it what makes it unclean it's rebellion against the laws of god are we together yeah do you know why you cannot call a human spirit unclean even if the man is not saved because he has an opportunity to be saved demons don't so it's been verified that they are unclean spirits there is no possibility of salvation for them but for a man who may be Saul today he can be Paul tomorrow so even in that state the blood still advocates even until he steps into the experience of salvation I wish I had time this is I promise you a charge I promise you a charge I'm, I'm, I'm creating the stage for Pastor Jerry to come and then bless you I think if I do this I've, I've done well tonight I would have helped someone with his understanding are we together oh let God arise and let my enemies be scattered no he never said your enemies he said his enemies hold on do you know what it means to be God's enemy let me define God's enemy for you whoever perpetually becomes a hindrance to the manifestation of his will including you becomes his enemy whoever becomes a perpetual hindrance to the manifestation of his will so before you pray that prayer you have to examine yourself that you are not praying against yourself when the captain of the of the lord's army came to joshua is it not in your bible he said are you for us or against us and he said neither i don't work like that whoever is accomplishing the will of god for that moment even if he cyrus becomes my ally as far as god is concerned you will be learning i'm going ahead of myself because that's where we're going to stop <laughs> goodness we have power over creation we have power over unclean spirits are we still together number three we have power to change negative circumstances matthew 8 27 we have power to change negative circumstances 
negative conditions as we see in the life of Jesus the Bible says this was the, the wind and remember the, 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 the storm the boisterous storm at sea the Bible says so when the, then the men marveled saying who can this be that even the winds and the sea obey him King James says what manner of man is this that even the winds and the waves obey him so we have power not just over animate things as we know we also have the power to manipulate with respect to the will of God even in animate things and conditions that is the reason why I can speak to a negative condition around your life it is not a life but it can still hear because it was created the elements that formed that problem were elements that God created for instance men for instance spirits are we together if a man decides to promote you the lack of promotion is a problem but it was caused by someone God created are we together now and if it becomes a hindrance to his will I'm able to declare by the Spirit of God that that circumstance will change listen if you understand this your spiritual life will be so powerful because you will know how to partner with the Holy Spirit you'll be learning shortly that the Holy Spirit does not partner carelessly he verifies the will of God as the basis of his partnership if the will of God is not found in that program the Holy Spirit will not be part of it Wow could it be why many prayers are not answered is it not in your Bible and this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will not our desires according to his will what is God's will whatever he says God's will is whatever he says because where the power of God is is where his voice and his word has gone to Genesis 21 and verse 1 and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said not as she wanted and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken if he has said it and he has spoken that becomes the assignment of power I'm going ahead of myself but we need to understand the purpose of power any kind of power the assignment of power is to bring all things to the will of God that's it so before the power of God acts it has to first verify especially if it is corrective is that current condition the will of God if not it begins to change that person or change that situation until it becomes the will of God then it stops working you also know at what point the power of God stops working when the will of God is established that means if the will of God is not yet established in your life I assure you the power of God is still working are we learning now very profound fundamental spiritual truths this is how jesus taught the disciples to have power he did not just give them power do you know the disaster they would have become if the only thing they were from fishermen to impartation to commissioning the gospel would not cross one city he took out time this was what he was teaching them when they were now full of light then power came are we together that is the reason why when the apostles saw the damsel, remember? The damsel that had the spirit of divination. He didn't act carelessly. He had to verify whether it was the will of God or not. It took time. He needed to discern because he knew that the power of God does not act outside or against the will of God. And when he discovered that even though her prophecy was right, the spirit behind it was not of God. He had the legitimate ground because we were given power over unclean spirits. Is someone learning? Unclean spirits. So if I sit down and I call for pastor's money, whether he likes it or not, to come to me, you see that there is a problem there. It is not the money. Is the fact that stealing does not allow I, are we together rather than saying pastor's money will come to me here is what happens you call on the mystery of favor favor works with his will that is an engracing of the spirit God will make him like me are we together now and he will release it freely 
because in the kingdom even at the expense of your eternal destiny god does not force you to receive him there are people going to hell today in spite of the fact that they will be condemned forever god still respects their will they reject him and he says i respect you go to hell i respect you i mean go to hellfire not not go to hell as an insult are we together <laughs> as on the rock <laughs> what is the assignment of power and authority matthew 6 and verse 10 i'm praying that someone got what i said tonight matthew 6 and verse 10 let's read it together ready one to read thy kingdom come thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven this is why god gave us power every time you pray and fast and roll on the ground for power make sure you understand this scripture and confess it too otherwise your fasting will be a waste otherwise your praying will be a waste god does not respond to emotions and sentiments he responds to your understanding and the purity of your desire to achieve this goal so why do i come asking that god will impart more grace because i want to be equipped with the power and the authority that helps me to enforce his will on the earth what is his will i told you what he has said what he has said there are many things god has said let me give you an example that you shall be the head and not the tail that is a statement that the power of God has been searching for who believes and who will come into partnership with that power to make happen. If I come to you as a man of God and say in the name of Jesus, I declare you are the head. I am in the will of flow freely, unhindered to bring that word to pass. Are we together? If I pray for your loved ones to be saved and I say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare by the anointing of the Spirit of God that these ones will go everywhere in the name of Jesus Christ. Immediately, watch this, immediately the power of God because it is God's will that all men be saved. Every time you see abuse of power is because understanding of its purpose was not established. If God gives me prophetic power, the ability to see now, if God reveals pastor's account number, for instance, just as an example, and then my lost can partner with that power, and I can now prophesy the account and say, on account of that, withdraw X, Y, Z, and send to me. I have abused power. Why was it an abuse? Because the will of God was not established in that program. That means you can be anointed, and yet your love life is not in place. There is a reason why even faith works by love. So even though we have the power to compromise, but we constrain ourselves as proof that we love God and we administer power only within the jurisdiction of God's will. Listen, if you know this as a man of God, you will be excellent in your administering power. You will see that God continues to back you up because your life and your ministry becomes so dexterous. God knows that every time you show up, it is to bless people every time you show up it is that his will will be done are we together now so if the sick are healed it's more than just a verification that a man is anointed it is that his will has come to pass if god gives you revelatory power as a man of god and you now use it to open people up enlighten them bring them to an understanding like i'm bringing to you now are you seeing that now once your heart is committed listen it is one of the greatest secrets i learned in my work of power with god the moment your heart becomes pegged at making the will of god to be manifest through your life you have truly entered the realm of genuine power economic power power manifesting as influence power for signs and wonders are we learning now so many many believers desire power without authority god just give me power i don't know you i don't care about you i hear that you can give men things that make and god says no the possibilities of the flesh in your life are too many to give you power unsupervised that is why he 
he he connected the power to your yieldedness look up look at me please are we learning spiritual power is tied to the yieldedness of the individual the degree to which you are yielded is what is responsible for the increase of power because that means that you are ready to subscribe to authority and to work within jurisdiction so when two people come and stand here and manifest different possibilities it is not because it's a different god are we together it is a reflection our differences even in administering spiritual power is a product of our yieldedness yieldedness someone can pray for someone on a wheelchair and nothing happens and another person may not even pray and then he rises up from the wheelchair the difference is that degree of power that degree of presence which is a measure of the degree of yieldedness who is learning tonight hallelujah are you seeing that it is safe for many christians to not have power that god's refusing to give certain people power is an act of his mercy for your sake because the possibilities that are locked up within them they will be a disaster to his program and even to your health if they have access to power without an understanding of authority today america and europe with all due respect are battling a violation of this principle giving people access to power whether as guns are we together whether as the right to execute their will without authority it will always produce disaster economically politically when you give people power and then do not give them authority I know someone who bought a car for uber bolt no bolt uber and then gave this guy to to help him after many months the person did not bring any money he will give a flimsy excuse the tire spoiled this one spoiled and the man decided to buy something i can't remember the name you put a tracker that's authority now it will force that driver to behave so the driver must be yielding returns not because he's a good man but now he has been forced by a system called a tracker are we together can i tell you you know how powerful you are in this kingdom to the degree to which you are constrained by authority you see independence in our world is proof of maturity the degree to which you do not need anybody however reverse is the case in the spirit that the ones who are powerful and mighty are the ones who are constrained by authority so the centurion said i am a man under authority and on account of that i have soldiers under me are we together i say to one go and he goeth to another come and he cometh and he said jesus speak the word only you need not come to my house because i know you're a man under authority i know the law of authority because you are you became a man jesus only manifested authority when he became a man i told you god does not have authority but when god became a man he had to submit to the authority system too that was why as a reward for his submission god highly exalted him are we together now and gave him a name that is above every other name and gave him and gave him and gave him and gave him because he submitted and gave him hallelujah is someone learning so when you stand before spirits and you say in jesus name i don't want to see you go while you are shouting they are just watching you do you know why they don't go i will tell you it's not just because you are more or less anointed no no i wish we had time i would have shown you how to use the authority i may not be able to cover that in this discussion maybe another time at least you know the jurisdiction now don't pray against the spirit of a man no you can ask god it is god who is called the father of spirits you know what that means he's the originator is the greek word pata the hebrew is abba the originator of all spirits that means it is within his power and with respect to him it is not illegal to manipulate any human spirit even if he's pharaoh he will make pharaoh to give his slaves gold the father of spirits for you 
now it is this understanding that constructs your prayer life because one of the ways we execute power in the kingdom is in prayer 